Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this stepper card here. It's a centre stepper card. Every Tuesday and Thursday I share tutorials that have a focus on dies. So this die will do all of this for you. And then I've got some really nice elements there to show you and the papers as well. So it's very easy to make. So let's get started. So this is the super size step on up centre stepper card die set. So you will need a larger die cutting machine for this one because it's a big A4 size as you can see that's the main die so you want to pass that one through and it will give you this here we'll go through the folding in a minute and then you can see you've got all your mats and layers but you can also do it a couple of different ways so if you want to have just one big layer that's this shape here you can see how that will fit you can go on the back and go on the front or you can have each one separate as you can see here that one's going to fit in there and then you've got the longer one if you want to maybe you know have a sentiment stamped in there so and these are all for inside here you've got lots of you know choices there so that's really good so on the back you have the folding guide here so just make sure you've got it in the same orientation so i've got that thinner section around the bottom here so it's telling me this has got to be a mountain fold along with the two outer ones so you just start to fold it down and then we've got a valley a mountain a valley and then a mountain so I'm just fold that all up like so and that then gives you a five and three quarter by seven and three quarter card size so that will fit nicely into my six by eight box envelopes that I've got you can see that it stands really nicely so I'm using this gorgeous new paper pad which is called made for men it's really nice to see craft stash doing more of these pads so we've had the watercolors the watercolour spring and also fields of dreams so if you've got those ones then i think you'll enjoy this one as well you've got some really nice toppers here different backgrounds and there's also an ephemera pack as well so you can have lots of different elements i've cut mine and um, you can see all of these here i've also used this one here which is the same which is creative craft products this is just some of their old branding and this is casual man and i've used the have a cool birthday so you can see how that looks when you cut it and then i've also cut the guy here and I've just paper pieced different colours there so it all matches within the theme that I've got here so I've cut all of the layers that I want so I've got this one for the front then I've got from that same section I've got this piece to go in here and then I've got this one to go in like so so I'm going to get those stuck down first So that's the front done. You can also have this as a side fold if you want to do. You could have your message and stuff inside there. You have it that way as well. Do something creative on this middle section. So there's a few ways to, you know, change the orientation there. Then on the back, because I want to be able to write my message, so I've taken the long strip which I'm going to stick along there, and then I've just taken these two pieces to go either side and then I'm just going to leave that blank so I've got that area to write so I'll stick those down next so for the decoration I've just cut out these different images here and then I've just cut myself a few toppers I'm not sure what ones I'm going to add with it I definitely want the have a cool birthday and I thought about having it in this space but cutting a strip of acetate and sticking it just behind these two here so I've just trimmed that to one inch and you just want to make sure it's long enough to be able to tuck under there and I'm just gonna pop it in and just mm, I'm not going to bring it right up to the top I'm going to have it just a little bit further down and that way I can attach that so it that comes to the top I'm going to pop that up on a little bit of foam I think okay so I really like the way that looks and then to just disguise the foam on the back just cut it again and you can sit that one over the top so it just looks neat from the back then as well there we go also just make sure you give all of your folds a good burnish that will just help it all very flat. I'll link up the box, envelope box as well if I haven't done already. So 
So now we can start placing all these different images. It's a really quick card to put together that one, but I think it looks really effective, quite modern. And I think it's a really nice style. And then I'm also going to add this one here. I thought it'd look quite nice. Just to fill that space there. So thank you for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this card style and you like the papers and everything that I've used here. As always, I'll link everything in the description box below. The box that would fit this in as well will be up here, but otherwise you can just make a six by eight envelope. And if you've enjoyed today's tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and that way you won't miss out on any future tutorials. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.